guys, let's go ahead and talk about supplements. I know there's a lot of different supplement companies out there and it's hard to tell which supplements are effective, which ones are just fluff and who to really, um, you know, believe and follow when you're doing, um, you know, a, a supplement stack or something like that. So let's dive right into it. Supplements are just that. And here's the thing. A lot of times people will try to make it sound like you need to take these supplements if you want to get results. And that is complete BS. You do not have to take any supplements if you want to get results. However, supplements can greatly enhance your results by working in one of two ways. They could either increase your performance or they could help you recover faster. So if your body is able to perform better and recover faster, of course you're going to get results faster. But is it necessary? No, it is supplemental. So let's talk about the most popular supplements and how you could utilize them if you decide to optimize your results with them. The first one I'm going to talk about, everyone knows, protein powder. Now, protein powder, just like the name suggests, is protein but in a powdered form. The misconception is that protein is some sort of drug. It is a food. As a matter of fact, a lot of my coaches that I've worked with in the past don't even classify protein powder as a supplement. They classify it as a food because you need to eat protein. However, sometimes it's hard to eat a bunch of chicken breasts all the time in order to meet your protein intake requirements. Um, I've done it before. I've tried, you know, eating without using any protein powder at all. Um, and it is very difficult and not that fun because you're just eating a lot of uh, lean protein all throughout the day. Um, protein tastes good. It's high quality. A lot of it mixes really well right now. Um, and you get your uh, protein uh, intake up. So it helps you with that. So again, don't shy away from protein. Um, just make sure you guys are taking good quality protein. I do have recommendations on here. Um, obviously there's a lot of different stuff out there. The main thing is that you don't know how these companies are manufacturing it. Um, so I usually tell people just go with someone that you trust, someone that you know is going to put, um, their pride into their work and make sure you get a quality product. Um, so a lot of times if you don't know someone that has their own supplement company, um, you know, you could go ahead and utilize supplements that we recommend on here. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and move on. Protein, very common. Uh, the second one I want to talk about, which is probably the second most common supplement, is a fat burner. Everyone wants to lose fat faster, but how do they work and how do you know if you're taking a good one? Well, here's the thing. Like I said in the, you know, before, um, we don't know how supplement companies are manufacturing their products. So find someone that you trust and follow their advice. But supplements can be very effective and fat burners will enhance your performance so that your metabolism could speed up. So for example, most fat burners have a stimulant in them. Usually it's caffeine. So it's like a cup of coffee. That stimulant will speed you up. It will give you energy. And when you're trying to lose weight, a lot of times you don't have a lot of energy. Your body's already in a caloric deficient zone so it's struggling just to provide you with the energy you need to function on a daily basis so having a fat burner will help you sustain your energy levels so you could function on a regular basis as well as help curb your appetite and obviously speed up your metabolism because if you got more energy you're burning through this energy your metabolism's up as well um, so highly recommend it uh, you just want to make sure you're utilizing it properly and also understand this. Everyone has a different tolerance to a stimulant. So, for example, some people, you know, they could drink coffee and they feel fine. Some people, they drink coffee and they're wired. Well, it's the same thing with a fat burner. You need to be careful with how you assess your tolerance because it has a stimulant in them, most likely caffeine, and you want to make sure you're taking... Um, enough to have a benefit, but not too much to where it's going to cause health con concerns. So start off with one pill during the morning. Um, most of the time you could take one to two at lunch. But again, always start off with one. If you feel fine, 
increase it to two and then you know the next time you could maybe increase it again but assess your tolerance first um, they do work but again you don't want to uh, jump into it and abuse the product okay um, the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, pre-workout because a lot of people love pre-workouts. Pre-workouts are, are, are great, but again, make sure you're finding the right one. Uh, so for example, um, there's a couple of pre-workouts out there and again, they have good st stimulants in them. They get you amped up and pumped up. Um, but if you've never taken one before, always assess your tolerance because they are based off of stimulants. They're trying to amp you up. Um, so just be cautious of that. Um, Pre-workouts, typically you take them like, you know, 30 minutes before your workout and it gives you that energy and focus so that you have a very, you know, effective workout. Spinning off of pre-workouts, what I really like are called vasodilators. And what these are, um, it's kind of like a pre-workout but they have amino acids in them that are to, that um, open up your blood vessels. So if you ever see those guys in the gym and they just like got this crazy veins popping out and they just feel all jacked, well, that's because you know they got a huge pump going on. They got all this blood pumping and stuff like that. Vasodilators is meant to help your body pump more blood into those those muscles. Um, lots of health benefits to utilizing them um, because. They're opening up the blood vessels, but not just to your muscles, but to other areas as well. So a lot of other tissue becomes healthier because now there's a lot of nutrients rushing in there. So I personally love vasodilators, um, but pre-workouts are good. Vasodilators are good. Fat burner definitely is effective and protein is like a staple of the diet. One other thing I did want to touch on while we're talking about supplements. Um, now it's not something that you're going to feel right away because I know a lot of people want to like feel the supplement work, but it's really good for your health, your skin, your nails and your joints and stuff like that. And that is, um, to take a good essential fatty acid. And we talked about in the diet part, we typically don't want you to, uh, consume a lot of fat because of how calorically dense it is. However, there are benefits to supplementing with the healthy fat. Um, because your body needs those essential fatty acids. As a matter of fact, the name essential um, means that your body cannot produce it, so you must consume it or supplement with it. So supplement with an essential fatty acid is definitely something that I highly recommend as a must uh, because it's just good for your general health. Your body needs those fats. We're trying to lose weight and we're cutting out a lot of those fats. So you wanna make sure you're putting some of that benefit back in so you don't get sick, your body doesn't break down, you don't have joint pains or your hair, skin and nails doesn't start to like, you know, look like it's deteriorating. Just make sure you guys are taking care of yourself. Don't neglect those supplements that are meant to keep you healthy and active as well. And speaking of that, there is one more thing I did wanna go over, um, but that's like your digestive health. So for example, guys, whenever you're transitioning, you're doing like a new diet, especially if you're trying to go into like a high protein diet, some people have issues with their digestive system adapting. They could get, you know, constipated. They could get a lot of, uh, they get gassy. They get a lot of digestive discomfort from it. And so make sure you guys are taking care of, you know, um, your gut, your health, and not just focusing on the outside appearance. Um, as a matter of fact, when you do that, when you focus on taking care of your overall health, your body could absorb nutrients better and utilize them better, which leads to better results. Um, so a good, you know, prebiotic, probiotic or digestive enzyme supplement will definitely help because a lot of times if we've been eating this processed junk, we've built up a lot of stuff in our body and we're going to want a little bit of help cleaning it out so that we can get the best results possible. Hope you found this information useful, guys. Just always remember supplements could greatly help your results, but they are supplemental, so do not skip out on that workout. Stick on your diet. Thanks a lot, guys. See you in the next video.